Here's what my solution to array one swap ends looks like. Now, of course, there's more than one way to do all of these projects, but here's how I did it. So swap ends is supposed to take an array as input and swap the first and last item. So one, two, three, four come becomes four, three, two, one, right? The one and the four swap places. I think you get the idea. So here's what I wrote for my code. It's pretty simple. In order to swap two items, as you know, you need a temporary variable to hold one of those items. Otherwise, when you try to swap them, they're both gonna end up the same. So here I made an integer value called temp, and I set that equal to nums zero. Nums is the array, of course, that's being passed in here. So temp is num zero. Now I can replace the item at num zero with the item in the last position. Remember the last position is the length of the array minus one because you start counting from zero. Same thing with strings, you know how that works of course. So I replaced item zero with the last item, the last element in my array, right? That's nums, nums at position, nums length minus one. Then I'm replacing the last element in my array, nums, nums length minus one with whatever I save to the temporary. That's it. And then I just return nums and I'm gonna run it. And hey, we're good to go. So you got a bunch of these to do, but hopefully none of them are too bad and hopefully that helps you get started. Thanks so much for watching.